You're listening to Upcycling with Deb. I'm your host, Deb Colometta. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Deb Colometta. I hope you'll go to my website, thedebsite.com, to get your free downloadable guide. This episode is only for nice people. So if you're a jerk, kindly move along. When you talk to someone who's mean or has negative energy, it's almost like you being nice, genuinely nice, not fake nice, not sticky sweet nice, but genuinely a good person. And you talk to a person who is ill-intentioned or mean or a jerk. It's almost like your niceness doesn't compute. They don't know how to deal with you. It's like you've become a, an anomaly. They think that you must have a hidden agenda because they're not nice and everybody's not nice in their perspective. It's almost like a liar thinks that everybody lies to them. People assume that nice means dumb. It's a great way to catch people off guard, being genuinely nice, not a doormat, but just being a good person. One example I can think of is Yolanda. I recently was interviewed by Yolanda, and also I had the privilege of interviewing her. And one thing, as I was doing my research before our interview, I talked to people who had business dealings with her or personal dealings with her, and universally... Everybody reported on how nice she is and how nice she was during their interactions. That is so rare for someone to have such a long-spanning career and having such a golden stellar reputation and being so successful. It's almost like when, you know, you've got these people who are ruthless or they're mean or they're stressed, unhappy. They make you feel that way too. And if you're feeling that way, you can't be glamorous. And she's just about the most glamorous person that I know. When I was in grade school and I went to a Catholic school where nice kids go to school, I was told by my teachers that even I was too nice. You're too nice, Deb. You're a target. You're making yourself a target. I can't imagine telling kids that today. We have things like, you know, be the nice kid or... Um, Show kindness to others. Be kind. Those are the things that we live by because the kids have maybe gotten so far off the mark in some ways that um, we have to remind them to be human beings again to each other. How sad is that? But long ago when I was growing up, that was what people were saying to me. You're too nice. You're getting bullied because you're too nice. And I remember thinking even then, I'm not going to develop an edge and change myself and change the core of who I am because some bully is trying to take me down, they'll never ultimately take me down as long as I feel good about myself. And I was very lucky. I am very lucky because I have parents who build me up. And going through the bullying when I was a little kid or in high school, that social engineering, that just awfulness of people being so unkind it really prepared me and it, it made it, even being exposed to it at a young age, it really made me prepared for dealing with it as an adult because I understood that language. And while sometimes it reduces you, it brings you back to that moment, like, oh my gosh, are they going to include me? Are they going to invite me to that event? And it brings you back to fourth grade where so-and-so forgot to invite you to their birthday party or didn't invite you to their birthday party or whatever. It, it instantly conjures up those feelings of being left out or hoping your kids get included and wanting them to be included. But I know how to deal with it. I know how to not take it personally. Those feelings may come up, but very quickly I can pivot and turn it into an opportunity where um, I find if I'm not getting invited to a particular party by a particular group, I just have my own party and invite the people that I want to be there. I don't chase after anything socially. And I know there are a lot of moms on social media. It's what I've noticed. I don't think I've noticed it as much with dads, but that's just been my experience. The moms on social media socially engineering their children's social circles. I think it's cruel. That's one thing and many things I'm glad about, you know, that didn't exist when I was a little kid. Being nice makes bad people suspicious of you. (laughs) 
and it's fun. It's really fun. Sometimes nice just doesn't compute. You talk nicely to a bully or a mean person, and it's like their circuits are overloaded. You've blown their fuse. They have no idea to res- how to respond to you. So they respond to you with more meanness, and you respond with more niceness. You kill them with kindness. And that has been a great strategy for me. And I'm always putting it in the computer. I'm always seeing how people react to me. I can always tell how somebody feels about me not based on what they say to me or say to my face, but how their wingmen respond to me. If their wingmen are ignoring me uh, or not very nice to me or looking at me, giving me side eye, or if their kids are looking at me and not very friendly, those are indicators that they're you know, kind of talking about you behind your back. So just pick up on those verbal cues. Continue to be nice and keep your side of the street clean but put their reactions into the computer and put some distance between you and that mean person. So conduct yourself in a nice, classy way and how they respond is their problem. Be a great example. Thank you for listening to this episode. Go to my website, thedebsite.com to get your free downloadable guide today.